exponential growth, and they want to kind of provide guidance in the near future. So they're, they're slowly defining our industry based on what the seeds to be ethical and safe. And I think it's a very exciting time to kind of define ourselves as a company and develop, I guess, kind of good therapies under the FBA's guidance. Yeah. And you have a team here yes. that really, I mean, you're getting products out every day. And every mm -hmm. day you have to make sure that those products um, yeah. are sound quality. And, uh, and uh, will you speak to the testing of, of the cells and, and how we know that they're safe? So um, what we do, uh, we collect cells through minimum manipulation. And this is to guarantee that the cells are not really altered too much. And we want to kind of present to them kind of as close to their native state as possible. So there's different extraction procedures in which you can kind of, that are slightly more invasive, but we want to stay away from that to kind of guarantee um, that the cells will kind of be more native to, to, their, to their original conditions. So that's a long question. I forgot what was the question. Yeah, it, uh, basically there's a process where yeah. one of the major questions yeah. our doctors ask is, is it safe and mm -hmm. why? Yes. What would be your answer to that? Uh, I feel like that's a loaded question. I, I think the safety will kind of depend on the doctor's best judgment. We can only guarantee as much as what's coming from our end. So we're using the, I the I guess, the GMP grade uh, quality uh, reagents. Um, we maintain sterility. And I think safety is our number one goal. And immediately after safety is uh, how effective our product is, which we do through research and testing. And you're part of that. What are you What are you doing here on a daily basis? Uh, I think how to answer that in the best way. Um, Does it vary by the day? And that's yeah, really, it varies a lot really, by the day. That's yeah. really me getting to know you too. Okay. So, in addition to answering the various physician questions with a lot, yeah, so <laughs> a lot of doctors have a lot of questions. Um, they they it, they really want to be educated on the products and its potential and its. Uh, safe use. I, th I think a lot of physicians might not really understand the product, so they think it's used on various applications, and we have to kind of hold them down a little bit and caution them not to go too crazy, because, I mean, sometimes the product might work, but, I mean, it really depends on the application and their judgment. So, so in, in, res in addition to answering physician questions, I work closely with the team to kind of, op uh, kind of optimize our procedures. We want to make sure we're getting more cells, cleaner cells, and we have to do uh, various testing to kind of further characterize and kind of provide more knowledge to our physicians. You've seen some of the videos that I've sent with Regenex um, saying yeah. that um, there's no viability in the mm -hmm. cells or there's no stem cells no. in human umbilical cord. Will you speak to that a little bit? Um, I think that's completely untrue. Um, that's very misleading. I, I think. I think the, the physician at Regenex is painting a really broad stroke because um, I think the in this particular industry is a, is a very close competitor to his products. I think the physician product, he mainly uh, deals in PRP therapy and autologous stem cells. And I think he grows out stem cells for use uh, outside of the States. So core blood, orange jelly cell, uh, stem cells are a close competitor alternative to the current therapy he provides. So I noticed um, he's trying to kind of paint himself in a, in a good light, but he doesn't do it in a, in, a, in a fair way, in a very objective way. He kind of just bashes on, I guess, our industry without appropriate citations. And I think the literature is out there. There's a lot of uh, potential in core blood. It's been around for 30, 40 years. So the truth is out there and just like completely saying that there's no stem cells uh, in that source is, is not completely not true at all, so. Great answer. Yeah. Great answer. Does that frustrate you? Um, when, I mean, so w when you see, what is your commitment to getting education out through channels like me, Regen Medicine, mm -hmm. just the answers that you gave just the last two days is so valuable mm -hmm. because there's a lot of noise out there yeah. because there's it's a it's a lucrative industry. So there's a lot of people that are coming into the field with just no thought yeah. to the integrity. And Habib and his team, you, mm -hmm. are committed to getting truth mm -hmm. with integrity. Will you yes. speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I think it's really important for 
us as an organization to do our due diligence and for physicians to kind of know what are the limitations with uh, stem cells, what are the potentials. So it's, 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 a very, it's a very important position to be, to kind of educate our physicians, making sure that, um, I'm not too sure how to exact, yeah. So good. Yeah. That you're getting truth out there. That yeah. You're getting sound information with yeah. sided yeah. research. S sound information that's backed up by literature that's been published and peer reviewed and based on the current knowledge and understanding of the field. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else that you would like to add? I think not. Nothing off the top of my head. I think we covered quite a few bases. If you have any other questions. Yeah, we talked a little bit about your team here and, their, and yeah. the people that you're surrounded by.